How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to day two of VoxFest. Now we just heard a set from uh, Josh Runnels, also known by J Artist. How are you doing, Josh? Doing pretty good. How about you? I'm doing all right, man. Thanks for asking. So, Josh, you're a part of the uh, Columbia-based collective Loose Loose. Now, how do you think that you've developed as an artist through your time with them? Whew, uh, man, sure. Major shout out to Loose Loose. Uh, I will say that um, uh, before Loose Loose, I was in a band previously, so I had some experience uh -huh. um, as far as live performance, but Loose uh -huh. Loose kind of uh, gave me a lot of um, education when yeah, it comes yeah. to like how to set up live sound right. and how to start uh, like collaborating mm -hmm. as, a, as a team, as a unit in a way that I've never experienced. Uh, and you know, we get great exposure. We had a mm -hmm. great time. Um, doing a lot of shows in and out of town and mm. just kind of doing what we can do, what we love to do, and then being receptive by our community. So um, I do appreciate the time spent with Loose Loose and hopefully it's more to come from Loose Loose. All right. Um, so you create through many different art forms. You know, you got physical art um, and poetry. Um, how does music fit into the many forms of art that you use? I say music is uh, the main art medium that I use as a, as a tool. I've always said music is a great tool um, that allows me to kind of create around the music I'm creating. So mm -hmm. essentially, yeah, most music artists uh, they'll have their music out, but also it's a lot of like video and audio, uh, yeah. video content, and you know, kind of graphic design that goes into right. presenting yourself as a full mm -hmm. package as an artist. And so, mm -hmm. uh, music uh, I've used it as a way to master um, like art sound, okay. vocally. And uh -huh. Of course, that's just one part of it. Uh, uh -huh. So now I'm getting into learning a lot more about the electronic and digital side of uh, creating the instrumental sounds. Uh -huh. And so uh, vocally, I've, I've been utilizing music um, for a while. I'd say since growing up in church mm -hmm. uh, in Chicago, and now you know moving here and performing right. with Loose Loose as a band. Right. So uh, do do you think that different art forms allow you to express different things? Is there one thing you can say through music that you can't say through other forms, or I think that you can say a, a very like simple and uh, simplistic message uh, through many art forms. Um, yeah, I guess it's up to the person that's utilizing that form. Like for me, uh, I think my easiest way to communicate how I feel and who I am and my being through music. Mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely I do agree that people can um, communicate a similar or the same message in different art forms. Okay. So, um, how would you describe yourself as an artist? You know, what kind of music do you make? In your own words. Uh, my own words. Uh, I'm going to use words from people affiliated with me as well. Uh, okay. In my own words, uh, including other people that I have, okay. uh, I've worked with. Um, I like to call the genre that we're moving into is future soul. Future soul. Um, the reason why is because uh, Loose Loose started that, coined that term, um, okay. or at least I thought so, but now it's becoming a genre of oh, itself. Really? You really? can notice you can find that genre on Spotify now, and it's oh, perfectly okay. fitting because um, I, I, do, I do like to believe I embody the essence of soul music. Mm -hmm. um, and then when it comes to like the digital and electronic sounds that formulate the music behind mm -hmm. my vocalism, um, it kind of fuses together to reflect futurism, mm -hmm. past and, and present, like, you know, music history, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So soul just refined into like a modern, a more modern approach with yep. all kinds of, you know. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah I mean, just kind of put more, um, I guess, idea behind it. Like, um, I do believe that we need to, um, foresee ourselves in the future okay. um, in the art realms mm -hmm. and so um, I understand that digital music is going into like a lot of electronic sounds and you know mm -hmm. ambient sounds and um, I still believe that soul needs to be transmuted through those sounds and okay. you know collaborating together to right. kind of continue the essence of where music even started right. you know, which is tribal right mm -hmm. right so um, with all that do you think that you fit into Columbia's music scene <laughs> no yeah <laughs> I okay. don't but I, I will say, uh, like I said before, um, I, I like to try to be as versatile as possible. I like challenging myself, even like kind of doing this, uh, this performance was a challenge for me. Um, and there's a lot of artists here that I love. And mm -hmm. if there's a, a, a bill or, you know, a lineup, um, you can put me in it and I can uh, challenge myself to, uh, I guess, fit to, yeah. <laughs> uh, with that lineup and, you know, to make out a great show with those uh, musicians in Columbia. Okay. Yeah. So do you think that um, not, you know, like exactly fitting in gives you an opportunity to stand out more or um, you know like uh, does it give you an opportunity to get a little bit more attention? 
Yeah, I mean, I guess naturally the attention comes. Um, but I guess you know, I was on a point that that's not what I'm doing it for. I do mm -hmm. it because like I truly like have to speak my truth. Um, yeah. If I don't, then I'll feel unheard and shut in, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, alienated. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, definitely having being able to not fit in. Um, hopefully, uh, an artist will know themselves well enough that you know they'll distinguish themselves from other people. And okay. having that distinguishment is really important to like having like a knowledge of self. Right. All right, so uh, last question before we go. Um, what can you tell me about any upcoming projects you're working on? Ooh, yes, sir. I got a, I got a beautiful team that's being put together. Um, amazing people that's very talented and connected in the world. Um, I, I plan to release a single right before New Year's. All right. um, and then after that, like a short project that'll come out, uh, you know, not too far into the year. Hopefully by spring we'll have a project out by Jay Artist. All right, that's going to do it for us tonight at VoxFest. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Big shout-out to Josh Reynolds, J Artist. And uh, you can catch us again tomorrow going live with Melancholia at 6 p.m. Big shout-out also uh, to Cracked Up Mobile. Cracked Up Mobile. Setting awesome. us up in the space. Thank you, Vox Magazine. <laughs>